Here is the dual DB605. I'm going to be reviewing this with you today. This is a cool little 6.2 inch doubled in stereo receiver. DVD player, CD, AM, FM radio, wired hands free player, as well as analog input, USB playback with three sets of preamp outputs, four volts, built in EQ with, I mean, a really great EQ. I mean, this thing's got a lot of features, a lot of stuff for the money. So give this thing a look. So far, here's the front with the main home screen. I'm going to turn it around, give you a side profile look. Over here is the back. Here's the analog tuner antenna input. Right here is your dedicated inputs for your rear camera input, as well as your subwoofer out. Over here you have video input, output, AV1, and you have front, rear, and subwoofer preamp outputs. Or all of them are 4 volts, believe it or not. First time ever for me for a dual AV in-dash stereo receiver for 4 volts, unheard of. So there you have it. 4 volts, it is what it is. Over here, your harness, you have a mute input, which is excellent. A dedicated e-brake input, which is easy to bypass with a simple black uh, tie into the ground. You also have an illumination wire, which is fantastic. And you have multiple outputs for power antenna as well as amplifier turn-on circuitry. So lots of stuff going on back here. Everything you need, plus it has a unique proprietary steering wheel programmable input. So you can basically through one wire program this so you don't lose your steering wheel controls from your factory stereo as well. Now here we are at the front side of this unit once again. And I just want to give you some quick pointers on this unit. Like I said, it is a 6.2 inch LED backlit LCD, 480 by 800. So you got a very good high nit rate on this unit. Um, custom customizable color LCD backgrounds, icons, as well as the buttons. Front USB input, which is located right here, which is not designed for full iPod or Android usage, what is, or charging, I should also say. What it's designed for is like more of like a flash drive. It's not designed to charge a phone, if that's what you were wondering. That's what it's for. And it also take up to 64 gigabytes in mass storage capabilities. You got a front 3.5 analog input for your audio. And also, they supply the cable, which you could use this. And it uses for a couple features. One, for the hands-free for the Bluetooth functionality. If you're using um, audio streaming or the uh, hands-free function, as they call it, it's a little unique. Um, I would definitely go to Dual's website to get more in-depth inf information on that one because it's new to me. Um, I know the basics of how it works, but, you know, to see if it's for you and what you're looking for, it couldn't hurt to educate yourself because there is another manual which you could download as a user or an owner, which I don't even have access to right here in my, uh, my, my warehouse, um, believe it or not. The low-pass filter, which is very good, almost never seen in duels, especially in this price point, and a lot of units actually for that uh, price point. Seven EQ presets, two loudness controls, screensaver, and three selectable wallpapers. It plays CD, DVD, and USB, 30 presets, and uh, it also comes with this wireless remote control, which is nice. It's not too big, not too small. Everything you need laid out very nicely, color-coordinated. I like it. It's a nice little piece. I like it. It's a good, good, really good package. They put a nice little package together, I think. And very easy to use this unit as well, I'll tell you that much. Very fluent. I mean, I, I didn't have to even look at the manual to use the radio, believe it or not. I mean, well, I don't have to anyway, because I'm pretty good at this at this point in my career, right? So I have it on um, a CD mode. I'm just playing a compact disc, not MP3. So you notice that there's no text or anything laid out here. If it was, it would say the artist. You can see the little icons. It has the uh, the song name, it has the artist, and it has the album information. So all that artwork is there, and it will also do the ever scroll feature as well. All these are draggable, just like you would on a regular Android or an iPhone touchscreen. Of course, you can. Do the quick method, play, pause, fast forward, rewind, that kind of thing. Also, you can do it down here. This is the button that takes you back and forth if you were using the hands-free uh, telephone function as well. Now, onto some of the most important, import, yeah, some important features of this unit, which in my opinion is always the most important. And that is how does this thing sound, right? Dual has never been, at least in my opinion, I think in most people's minds or opinions, never been very huge on graphic equalizers, parametric equalizers, subwoofers, low pass filters, high pass filters, band pass, all that kind of stuff. Never, never seen a whole lot of this animation stuff. It almost looks more pioneerish than it does dualish, right? So going into the audio mode, look right here. You got a real EQ, which is very fun. This is, this is my kind of thing. This is, this is me. This is right here. I love it. I love it. 
Six bands, seven would have been nicer, but I'll take it. But this goes a little bit further than the six bands, and here's how. If you go into the ASP function, this kind of looks more like Kenwood. You got the center frequency value. You have a uh, low pass filter. You can block off 200 hertz, 100 hertz, um, 80, 60. You got your base Q value, all selectable. Middle alignment, you got again, select your frequency. Your middle Q value. There you go. It's all right there. So you could basically take that six bands and multiply it times three because you have this parametric feature as well. Subwoofer control. So you can 160 hertz is your low pass filter and go down. Change it real fast. And you can even toggle those same things through this button here, which no other manufacturer I've ever seen has it. So they've made this very easy for the user to be very accommodating. I'll, I'll put it to that. It's very accommodating to the end user to adjust your audio. So if you're into that kind of thing, like me, this is your kind of thing totally. So you got your loudness control, which again, they didn't need to do this, but they did it, and I'm so glad they did. Treble, this is awesome because this could really make your sound just shimmer. I mean, I love it. All built into there. Fader and balance, very nice. You could take your finger and you could drag it around. You can see it's very responsive and reactive to the finger. Excellent. That's your ASP. That's where we just left from. Your fader va uh, balance. EQ. Of course, you could take the presets and take them one step further by modifying them. I mean, really, there's a lot going on here. That with the customizable, the colors, the settings, um, the style, the black finish. I mean, it's got a lot. Price point. Excellent. So if you're looking for a good double din unit, Give this piece a look. It's, a, it's made by Dual. It's a model DB605.